Hello and welcome students and viewers once again to Nova Learning Support Studio. My name is Darlington Odo and I will be your mathematics instructor. Here at Nova, we teach you mathematics and make sure you enjoy it because in Nova, learning is fun. We're going to be teaching SS1 today, mathematics, first term, sixth week. Today we're going to be looking at algebraic processes. All right, so we're going to be looking at simplification and we're going to be looking at substitution. Now, at the end of this week, students are supposed to be able to solve the following. Okay, yes, students are supposed to be able to use the letters of the alphabet to represent numbers. Okay, again, at the end of this week, students are supposed to be able to simplify algebraic expressions by grouping terms, by removing brackets and by expanding brackets, all right? So we have some examples on the board for you. Um, we have two examples. They are basic examples and uh, relatively easy. Let's look at them and see. We have one here and the other one on the other side of the board. Now, the first example says, express x naira and y kobo in kobo. Again, I said, Express x naira and y kobo in kobo. All right, now let's go on with the solution. All right, now for those of you, um, like I said, that cannot remember the exchange rates, we don't use kobo these days. Um, one naira is 100 kobo. All right? Uh, so here in our question, they said we should change x naira. We should express x naira and y kobo in kobo. So we have to first convert this x naira here to kobo. So in our, th that's what we're trying to do now. One naira gives us 100 kobo. Therefore, x naira will be what? 100 times x kobo. All right, it's just like saying one, one, uh, one biscuit is 100 naira, two biscuits would be 100 times two, which is 200 naira. But in this case, we are using an alphabet instead of a letter. So one naira gives us 100 kobo, x naira gives us 100 times x kobo. So what it then means is that x naira is equal to 100 x Kobo. All right? Good. Now, this is just the first part. What I now said we should do is to express it into Kobo. That is, we should add Y Kobo to it. So we have, what we're going to have at the end of the day is what? Y Kobo plus 100X Kobo. All right? So this becomes, our final answer therefore will be y plus 100x. Now notice that since we have Kobo on both sides, we decided to put a bracket. So what it means is that y Kobo plus 100x Kobo. For those of us that are asking why we now have only one Kobo, we just have, since we have Kobo here, and we have Kobo here. Uh, we just took these two expressions into a bracket and then put Kobo. All right, so we've been able to answer the question. We said express x naira and y Kobo in Kobo. So this is your final answer. Let's go to the other side of the board. The other example says, a man was 20 years old six years ago. How old is he now? All right? Now the second part of the question says, P years ago, another man was 23 years old. How old is he now? Yeah, I know some of you are like, okay, okay, you solve the math quickly. Yeah, I know you're all bright students and viewers. Now let's solve together. Of course, write our solution. Let's solve together. Now, let the first man, we, we, we can say this, let the first man be a, all right, 
And the second man to let the second man be, uh, we can use C or B, let's use B, because after A is B, so let's use B. All right? So the question says, a man was 20 years old, T years ago. So the man A, so let's write A. All right? Now, six years ago, a man was 20 years old. Man A, six years ago, he was 20. So how old do you think he'll be now? Now, all he just needs to do is what? You say his age of six years ago, which is 20, plus six. All right? For, for instance, right now, you are 12 years. How old, do you think, how old were you three years ago? All right? Three years ago, you were nine. Good. So, how do you find out your age for today, for, for now? You added three to nine to give you 12. Same thing here. Six years ago, a man was 20. Now, he'll be 20 plus 6, which is equal to what? 26 years. Beautiful. Hope you understand. Now, let's go to the second man. All right? Now, P years ago, notice that for the second man, we do not actually know how many years, but it was represented by a letter. But not to worry. In algebra, you can add numbers and letters. All right, now, P years ago, P years ago, how old was he? Good, 23. P years ago, man B was 23. Now, how old will he be now? All right, now he'll be 23 plus P. Now, note that 23 plus P is not 23P. Okay, that will be 23 times P. All we're talking of here is 23 plus P. All right? Please do not make that mistake. 23 plus P is not 23P, but 23 times P is 23P. Now, having looked at these two examples, I hope you were able to see how you can, you know, Involve letters in place of numbers. So if you've gotten this example, let's go do some class activity. Let's do some class work.